Summer Challenge and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's regular programming again. It is August 2018. All the glamour going on in my house this weekend. Uh, it's actually Sunday and guess what? I gotta repair the toilet. You hear this noise? This is what's going on. Um, the toilet in the main bathroom has been leaking. So every five minutes or so, it basically uh, leaks water and then it refills itself and then it leaks water and then it refills itself and it's making a lot of noise. See, it just stopped, okay? And in about five minutes, it's gonna start again. Obviously, it's a phenomenal amount of water we're going to have to spend um, this quarter uh, because of this. Well, it hasn't leaked that long, but anyway. So what I'm going to do today is use the universal kit repair. I'm going to take down the toilet, basically disassemble it and replace all the parts inside the tank to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And you know, this is the kind of stuff that's like, you have to do it at some point. You're gonna have to go through this uh, because toilet parts don't last forever. <laughs> especially if you have hard water like me, they will break down and you will have to replace stuff. So I thought that it would be a good idea to show you how to do it. Um, and it's actually not that bad. It's just a lot of elbow grease. So let's get started. So first we're going to investigate. Um, this is the tank part of my toilet. There we go. Okay, and you see it's refilling itself right now. Not that much, but it's still something. And then the problem is this gasket here, I'm gonna show you. It's basically, it's all busted, you see that? All right, so it because it's plastic, it lifts itself up and all the water comes out, or a little bit comes out into the um, toilet bowl. And then once the level goes down on this side, guess what happens? It asks for more water. See this thing here, it goes up and down. So if I put it down a little bit, you see how it's refilling water? All right. So that's basically what happens. The floater right here goes down a little bit. It adds more water. The water leaks back into the bowl. This goes down, fills up with water, goes on again and again and again. And as a result, yeah, the toilet bowl is leaking and it's costing us money. So we're replacing all of these parts today. And for the task, I am going to use this Fluid Master Universal High Performance Performax All-in-One Toilet Repair Kit. So let me open the box and I'll show you all the parts that are included in this kit. So these are the parts that come with the kit. You get a replacement handle right here. You get a replacement um, water supply and floater. Okay, you see, that's the little floater. You don't want to touch this part right here. Uh, this is the replacement valve with the overflow tube, so that gets installed as well. This is the flapper, the new one, okay? You get the water supply line, which is right here, and then you get new bolts and washers, which is really, really cool. And then this is the little thing that's going to attach to the chain uh, so that the water line knows when to, um, you know, what's the maximum level. And of course, it comes with instructions. So we are in business. The first thing you want to do, turn off the water on the underside, right? So you're going to turn that off. And right now, you see my tank is uh, lowering itself. I have less and less water in there, so I'm just going to finish it off. We're going to let the water um, empty itself into the bowl. And once that's done, you'll see that there's going to be some leftover water, right? So you need to remove all of that water. If you don't remove it, what's gonna happen is that when you take this one part out, because we gotta take it out, right? If you don't remove all the water, when you remove the tank, um, you're gonna have water spilling all over and I'm not about to create more work for myself. So let's do that. Okay, that's done. All right, so the next part is removing all of the uh, pieces that are in the toilet. First thing I'm going to remove is the handle. Okay. 
All right, and this is attached to my busted valve. You see how it's all broken and stuff? Yeah, this is really, really, really old. So that's gotta go. All right, so I'm gonna take that out. Okay. Now the only way you can remove the other parts here is by removing these two here that are attaching the bowl to the tank. All right, so you gotta go on the underside. I'm gonna show you that in a second. And then once I have all of that removed, then I can take down those two because they're actually attached from the underside. So this is the underside of the toilet, right? The two screws I just showed you that were inside the tank, well, they're right there on the underside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those and then I'll show you how you can remove the rest of the parts. Okay, so those two screws are still in. You can see that right there. So when I pull the tank, they're gonna come right off, okay? But the one thing I really need to do and make sure I do here is disconnect the water line. So I'm just gonna unscrew this part right here and that's the part that holds the uh, water supply and the floater. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that at which point I'll be able to take the tank off the bowl. Okay, so the water line is unscrewed. Um, all of the screws are out, so I should be able to go ahead, bring the tank over. So you want to, um, I put a towel on this just to protect the surface. Not that I really care because this vanity, as you all know, is going out. So, and it might actually go out today. Because I made a big mess in the bathroom and I'm going to have to clean the bathroom anyway. So here is the water tank. So I'm going to put it this way so you can see the underside. And I promise glamour, so here you go. Okay, so these are the old screws, right? So what you want to do is just take them out. I already took out the bolt that was underneath it. Okay, that's the only way you can uh, take them out. Screws. Okay, here we go. So that one bad screw. You see this? Yeah, you should be wearing gloves. You all know that I don't. I'll wash my hands with whatever. This is basically the um, rubber from all of the washers that's disintegrating, okay? So, and here's the reason why uh, you need to do maintenance on your toilets um, once in a while, right? Because that stuff just goes bad. And then this is the old one, the old ring here, we're gonna remove that. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna remove this part right here. Because nothing lasts forever. Okay. So now I gotta remove this part here. This is the part that's gonna be difficult because whoever did it before probably did a good job at tightening it. But I have this gizmo right here that should do it. wrench. You guys always wonder why do I have so many tools? Well, there you go. Because <laughs> you never know when you're going to need a plumber's wrench. Okay. Once you've done a couple of turns, you should be able to do it by hand. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, but this one I don't need the plumber's wrench for that. I like to use these actually. I get a better grip out of those. There we go. So I turned the uh, tank the other way around so you can see. So now that I've unscrewed everything, I can actually take out those parts, right? So I'm gonna remove this, and we're gonna remove this thing here. That's the part that was. This is the part that was leaking. Okay, and what else do we have in here? That's it. So what I'm going to do before I put all the new parts in there is that I'm going to thoroughly clean the inside. Um, it's not gonna get all white, but you know, this all the black from the rubber and everything. I just wanna give it a good clean, all right? And then we'll put the parts back in. First thing I'm gonna install is the handle. And that can be tricky because this one is already bent. Um, sometimes you get them and they're not bent. So what you do is you put it in, right? Um, like this. All right, so this is the correct position for this one. I don't know if you can see that, okay. Right, it's gonna work like this. So when you go like that, it's gonna pull the chain 
and it's going to force the thing to open up, right? So the kit comes with this little nut here. I'm going to slide it back onto this part. Like this. And basically what you do is that you tighten this. Now I'm not going to tighten it too hard because eventually I may have to readjust it, okay? Next. Next, we're going to install this gizmo here. All right, so you remove the big rubber thing and you remove the ring and that leaves you basically with just this black part here and right here there's a rubber gasket. Okay, so you're just going to orient it the proper way. So this is the back of the tank, okay? So what you wanna do is install it this way. So this part here that opens up, opens up to the front of the tank, okay? So this is the front of the tank, this is the back of the tank, and you want it to open this way, all right? With the front here and the back. So since I'm on the back, I wanna put it this way. So you just go ahead and insert it. And there's already a rubber gasket, right? We're just gonna go ahead and put this back on. You tighten it as much as you can by hand and then you take a good old plumbers. Ah, that's a smaller one, that's interesting. A wrench. tighten it some okay and then you put the plug back in give it a good tap this is gonna go inside the bowl right okay next we're going to install the replacement uh, water valve okay so you do the same thing it already has a rubber gasket here right I'm just gonna put that in that hole right here you want to press down, right? And you're going to take that little lock nut right here. Now you don't want to um, tighten it too much because what happens is that sometimes you end up cracking the bowl, right? You don't want to do that because then you got to buy a new toilet. Okay. So that should do it. Okay. Okay, so this is the new one they gave me, right? It's got this angle thing going on. Okay, no matter how I position it, it just doesn't work because I have this in the way. It's just, it's weird, okay? So what I'm doing is that I'm reinstalling the whole handle because this one is a straight, okay? And because it's a straight, it's gonna, when I turn the handle, this goes up and the chain is gonna work on that. So I'm gonna use the new nut on this, because these are universal anyway. Uh, yeah, this way. So I'm gonna reinstall the old handle that came with this particular setup tank. Let's tighten that. We don't wanna tighten it too much. But you don't want the handle to feel loose, right? Like right now, it kind of feels loose. So. All right. Okay, so now I should be able to install this, right? And we're going to go a little bit shorter. So I'm removing the chain. This guy right here. Okay. Right. So we want it right. Right, so I attached it, let's see. Yep. I think it's gonna work. All right, well, we're ready to install the water line. This is all very fascinating stuff, you know what? Okay, 
um, learning about plumbing. All right, so they give you this tube, right? And that's gonna be the water supply. All right, so technically you're supposed to put it right here on that little water entry thing. So you put it on, right? And then you put the clip right here, right? Because that's your overflow. Hold on. Okay, all right. And then you have those little mini clamps here that they give you that you slide down to close off the tube right here. You see that? So you just open them like this. Okay. Now the problem is that this here, this little part is too high. So when I put the top, it bends it. Ah, less water coming in. All right. So the only thing you can do is basically cut the tube. So, and then this part here is for water saving. So you roll it, right? wherever you want it all right so the closer it is to the uh thing here the more water you save we're going to keep it like right in between and by the way i forgot to show this earlier but you can turn this right here see it's got maximum right here written and then if you really want to have less water you basically do that but we like to flush the toilet in this house um you know to which is on we're gonna keep it at maximum so I have to cut this tube here because it's just too long. Um, I could cut this part as well, but I just want to cut the tube. So we're going to cut about, so I'm going to cut just about this much here. So I'm going to see whether or not this is going to work. So you put it on right here, right? Okay, and you use the little clamp to tighten it around the hard spout. Okay, here. All right, so now I got this. Can I fit the top? Let's move this. Wait, the other way around. All right, it looks like I can fit the top now. So we're ready to reinstall the whole toilet now. So this is what you do. Let me show you a close up so you can see better. All right, so we have a, a long bolt, right? You're gonna put the bolt, a, a um, metal washer and then the rubber washer okay and you just put it right in the hole right here okay and then you do the same thing with the next one you take your bolt put a metal washer your rubber washer like this okay and put it directly into the hole and we're gonna install it right over the toilet bowl okay Because I'm going to see whether or not, am I in the hole? Yeah, how about here? Am I in the hole? Okay. Alright, so now all I got to do is go on the underside and do the same thing with a um, metal washer, the rubber washer, and the nuts, and then I'm just going to tighten the toilet tank over the bowl. Whew! Alright, that was a lot of work, but that's installed. I got a water line reconnected. Um, oops, you don't need to see my decollete here. Let's turn on the water and see what happens. Because right now, what I want to do is check for leaks. In particular, here. So, water is coming in, so far so good. I'm not seeing any leak here. There's no leak coming on the underside uh, where the bolts are. I have no leak coming from the water line over here. We're gonna let the tank fill and see what happens because then there's something else you can do to regulate the amount of water you're going to get in your tank. And this little screw right here, you can turn it down or up and it will change the um, amount of water before it stops from filling up, right? Because this little thing here, you remember it goes up and down? So that regulates how much you want it up and down. So let's fill this tank first. Still checking for possible leaks. Okay, I got one right here. All right, so that I have to fix. Um, it stopped right there. Let's flush. Thank you. 
fascinating, isn't it? Okay. All right, so this is working, but I have a, um, a nut on this side here that's leaking, so I have to fix that. Whew, okay, it's done. Um, it's, it's just a matter of tightening um, the screws, you know, you gotta take your screwdriver in one hand and then hold the screw underneath with the, um, what you call it, the wrench, and then you can finally turn, right? So. That's basically what it is. There is absolutely no leak, none from the water line, none from the two screws, none from the big gaskets that goes into the main hall. And um, it's done, so you can't hear the water running anymore. And this toilet is a functioning toilet. There we go. Beautiful. So the uh, odds of you um, Having to, I'm still checking for leaks. The odds of you ha ever having to do this <laughs> are very small. But in case you do, now you know how to do it, basically. Um, now, uh, the issue with the handle is that this is a handle they give you for the tank. There's actually a handle that goes in front of the tank here. So you go like this, so it does the same thing. It lifts up, right? But if I put it inside on the side of the tank like I had it before, it was going this way, it didn't work. So I had to put the old uh, handle back on because that's the handle that's on the side of the tank, not in the front. And this one is only for front. Um, and actually, I like it better on the side, that way you don't see the handle. Um, I like it better like that. I don't like the push buttons that are on the top and I don't like the front handle. So that's working out for me. Uh, yeah, I tried everything with paper towels and I'm gonna um, observe for a couple of, you know, probably half an hour, see if there is any um, chances of a drop, you know, a little mini a leak or anything. But otherwise, it's done. So give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Guys, my bathroom is a wreck. Absolute wreck right now. Um, don't worry, I wash my hands. <laughs> uh, so what I'm gonna do is probably uh, do a video on cleaning the bathroom because I gotta get this um, big monstrosity of a vanity that's totally empty out of here. And as I'm working, I have to push everything to the other side, the cleaning supplies, all, all of it. It's a disaster zone in here, and I really, really need to clean this bathroom. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna take a break. I'll see you in the next video when I clean the bathroom and bring the bathroom back to zero and uh, remove the vanity. So see you later. Thank you for watching. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner and I will see you next time. Hey guys, now you know how to replace the entire components of your toilet. So, yeah.